friends, I want to make a video. I'm going to come online and I'm going to talk about homosexuality, bisexuality, all the allergies out there. Um, but I want to talk about home, the, this in light of this big push currently uh, in Christendom to really push for people to be basically exercised. There's a big push in evangelical, non-denominational, charismatic ministry to really push for deliverance of demons. Now, whether you believe this or not, the largest issue that is going on when you do talk about this is that people are often devalued. In my opinion, this is really a trademark of emotionalism nine times out of ten. I'm not going to say that deliverance from demons doesn't happen, but I am going to say that we should be really careful when we are treating people as though they are a creature. Sometimes people just really don't want to be there, so they'll do whatever it is that you think they should do in order to escape and not be around whatever environment. That being said, the supernatural is a real occurrence, and even the I think the International Catholic Board of Exorcists have really talked about the rise of this type of activity around the globe internationally. So when we have this go on, we can't deny it. But at the same point, when, we're, when I'm making content about what it's like to have struggles and what it's like to decide to leave the LGBTQ, when you have a person just come up to you and they say that what you're going through is a demon or a spirit. Most of the time, they're gonna randomly say this. At least that's been in my experience because there's not really a lot of investment when it comes to this type of ideology or theology. And the thought is get them saved, get them delivered and moved on from wherever you are. So you're not really spending a lot of time with people. You're not getting to know them. You're not typically plugging them into a ministry or into a church, you're basically hitting this goal, this supernatural activity, and then you're moving on. So I don't know how helpful that really is. I think that it puts people under presumption and it causes people to not actually care about people as much. The goal is that maybe you do care about people, but you really want glory and power. This is kind of the thing that I'm noticing right now, this big push for deliverance ministry. While deliverance is a necessary factor in the church, there is one deliverer.